Good morning. Uh, we'd like to welcome you to 7th Street United Methodist Church. It's the sixth Sunday um, after Easter. And happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, I'm trying to find my announcements, one second. Okay, we've moved them. Your announcements are now here instead of here. <laughs> and I didn't realize that either. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so everyone at 7th Street uh, United Methodist Church wishes all the mothers in our community a very happy and joyous Mother's Day. The annual Mother's Day dinner is scheduled for uh, Wednesday at uh, 6. And the men of the church will be preparing baked steak Cost of the dinner for adults is uh, $8, for, and for children ages 3 to 12, it's $4, and for children less than three years of age, the dinner's free. See Faye Smith after worship to make your reservation. Uh, Monday, May 11th, at 6 p.m., the 4-H Club will meet. Tuesday, at, I think this one's wrong. Yeah, the women's circle is next Tuesday, correct. Um, do we know whose house it's at? At Marilyn's house, at 7 um, and Thursday, May 14th, the Boy Scouts will meet at 6. Pastor Ken is still on vacation. He was on, his vacation is from May 6th um, to Thursday, May 14th. In the event of an emergency, please call Reverend uh, Butler. Um, his phone number is in the bulletin. And if necessary, Pastor Ken's number is also in the bulletin. Um, he left me something up here. There will be a revival May 14th through May 17th, starting at 7 p.m., at um, May 14th, I'm trying to figure out, oh, at Pleasant, Pleasant Grove UMC and in Waverly, West Virginia. So if you want any more information about the dates, um, they're May 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Uh, Tim Bell is the evangelist the first night uh, and the second night, and Randy Dorn, Dornan is the uh, speaker for the second two nights. So if you want any information, I think we'll probably post this out on the bulletin board. Um, and lastly, uh, Robert Hamill's funeral arrangements will be um, Tuesday at 11 here at the church. The viewing will be Monday from 2 to 4 and 4 to 6 at Levitt's funeral home. 6 to 8, sorry. 6 to 8 at the funeral home. Um, and please... Uh, Wish everybody the peace of Christ.
All righty. Um, everybody is almost in their seats. Here we go. Should I start or should I wait for Shirley? What? Okay. Um, if we'll have our call to worship now. Mothers come in many different forms, and today we celebrate them all. Thank you, God, for mothers. Everyone here is either a son or daughter. Thank you, God, for my mother. For those women who have joined God in heaven and whom we miss dearly here on earth, thank you, God, for the mothers of the past. Um, for every woman who is working, to, working day and night to raise her children right now, thank you, God, for the mothers of today. For all the women who are expecting but aren't quite mothers yet, thank you, God, for soon-to-be mothers. For the women who, took, um, who took, in, took in other children through adoption and foster care, thank you, God, for these mothers with hearts so big. For those women who have lost a child to death and must carry on, thank you, God, for the mothers who are so strong. For all the women who are desperately wanting to have children of their own, but choose instead to mother everyone else, thank you, God, for those women who are mothers in spirit. Now we'll have our opening prayer. Um, we thank you, Lord, for the women who have influenced our lives in so many ways. We pray that we will honor them in everything we do. Amen. And our praise him as he keeps me singing and it's on page 237 of your hymnal. And you get to stand or you get to sit because it's not required to stand. So it's up to you.
Well, it's first of all, and hold it to the light comes on. Oops, sorry. Let us pray. Dear God, help us reach into our hearts so we may tithe as disciples to do the work of your church. Bless these tithes and make them abundant for your love. Amen. Got me on. It's on. I got it first, Connie. <laughs> I said that because um, I'm not going to say hers. She gets to say hers on her own. But um, we've got Laura here, and she's finally finished. I mean, forever with college. She graduated. Yesterday, cum laude from West Virginia Wesleyan College with a teacher's degree. <laughs> yeah, I have a great grandson that uh, graduated from college yes, Friday also from Clemson in South Carolina. We have a men's group that's been meeting. We're supposed to meet the second Sunday of every month. And we're going to probably have to cancel it today. Uh, since it's being Mother's Day, I'm sure we got a bunch of cookouts and stuff to go to. So let's try to make that men's group next Sunday, if we can. And uh, I don't even know how to begin. This is such a, a blessing, this whole week has been. And we have had so many things going on, I thought I need a piece of paper and a pencil to write down which gift I'm going after and who's it for because I got really confused, <laughs> which says 
nothing because that's just the way I am in a state of confusion. But I am so blessed. Little Allison with her 16th birthday. And she, they pulled it off as a surprise. And so we, they had a big surprise party for her yesterday. And that was a blessing to get a little touch of that. And then we're going to party down again today for uh, Allison's family birthday and Mother's Day. And to go after all these things and, and think about, oh, my mind was just swimming. I'm so thankful for my kids, my grandkids, my family here at this church. You don't know what you mean to me. And you boys from up on the hill, we love you. And we're so glad to have you here with us. And I just feel so blessed. And I just wanted to say that. Now it's Connie's turn. What do you have to say about it? Well, same thing, Shirley. I can understand what you're going through. Um, yesterday was a very blessed day for us. Uh, not only did my daughter <clears throat> graduate with her hygiene, dental hygiene degree, she also passed her first state board's test. She found out yesterday. <laughs> she passed her regional ones, and then she has two more that she has to find out. But yesterday, I also got to spend the day with my dad and my, my mom. So I just, and it's my throat, guys. I think it's the pollen in the, it's the pollen. <laughs> but I got to spend the day with my whole family. And, and it was a blessing to have dad and, and mom and, and my kids with me. And so we are blessed as mothers. And I also have a prayer uh, request to uh, a little girl that I work with at, at Madison Elementary. She's almost five months pregnant. She's in the hospital uh, having severe cramping, and so they're not really sure what's going on. So just pray for her. Her first name's Ashley. Um, I just wanted to thank the church for sending all the care packages that we get throughout the year for the college students. Um, I know, and I can probably speak for all of us, that we really appreciate it, and I know that it, a lot of work goes into that, so thank you. And I have Rachel home, first year under her belt, so we're excited about that. But just pray for her, um, her Baptist Campus Ministry Group, BCM for short, is meeting with, um, meeting up with the West, WVU has a BCM also, and the Marshall and WVU when they're going to Beach Week. Um, so she leaves tonight to travel with that Baptist ministry um, group to spend the week together in fellowship and Bible study and, and some fun time. Um, so just pray for safe traveling mercies for them tomorrow when they leave Monday. Yes, I want to lift my husband up who will have surgery in the morning, 6.30, Norman. Also, my son, Gary, that has cancer uh, right now. Uh, the immune system is low, and uh, they're just not doing the treatments this week. Gary and my daughter, Susie, who has gout in her foot, and it's severe. She really needs prayer today. There's a pastor, Rivner Minnie. I don't know if any of you know him or not, but he is in the Camden Clark Hospital, very ill. And hopefully he'll be, he had surgery, and hopefully he'll be recovering soon. Thank you. A um, couple of things. We also have a couple of uh, grandkids graduating. Uh, our oldest granddaughter is graduating from, from Virginia Tech next Saturday, so we'll, we will be going down to Blacksburg. And then the following weekend, um, we'll be going to Martinsburg. Our, we have another granddaughter graduating from high school. So we're blessed with those um, granddaughters. And I also have a prayer request. Um, 
I'd like for the church to pray for Jody Moat. He is a head football coach in St. Mary's. He's having surgery tomorrow to repair a hole in his heart. He's the one who had a stroke earlier this year, and uh, they believe that stroke was caused by the, this hole in his heart. So pray for him that um, everything goes well, and um, I had told him that we would put him on our church prayer list. So thank you. I have a granddaughter who will be graduating from college next Saturday. So her name's Erica. So you can pray for her. Thank you. We will be gone next Sunday, too, because our grandson Josh graduates at Morgantown at 9.30 next Sunday morning. So we'll be up in Morgantown. I'll be graduating from grade school here pretty soon. <laughs> well, I guess uh, most of you know Jackie's been in the hospital this past week, and uh, Sometimes in our physical body, we hit stumps, you know? And she, <laughs> it was good as she'd been in the hospital, they found things that was really causing her problems. So they got that straightened out, and then tomorrow she'll be coming home uh, again, and my household and me will be back to where we should be. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, something a little more today, I look back behind me here, and I'm missing two people, Carol and Bob. They're here every other Sunday, and, uh, but they're not here this Sunday, of course, and uh, I really miss them. And I found out something about Bob I didn't know. It, well, it was in the morning's paper. So I'm going to read it to some of you, what Bob was involved in over his life sp uh, lifestyle, lifespan, I mean. You know, he was a, he was a champion for the underprivileged that's the wrong word, but handicapped kids and, and also uh, uh, some teenagers that were going through troubles. Um, he taught the so-called handicapped kids. I think we call them challenge kids now, which is a better word than handicapped. And then the autism. He taught the kids that had autism. And then uh, he worked at Colin Anderson, which was a... A uh, place where, of course, the uh, people came when they had problems, Colin Anderson. And then he worked at the Braxis. Uh, that, you know, I don't know where Braxis is at. It's out there in the uh, Mount Wood Park area up on the hill. I've been there and ministered myself. But he ministered at Braxis, and those were kids that were really having problems in their life. So Bob, it looks like he kind of dedicated himself to the underprivileged or something. I didn't know that, and uh, but that after reading this and, and thinking about Bob, I said, yeah, yeah, after what I've known about Bob, that sounds like Bob. So it's been, it's very sad this morning to look back and not see those two uh, behind me. So anyway, uh, I'm sure that people are praying for Carol and, and, his, and Bob's mom. So I just want to say I dismiss those two behind me. I want to add a little bit to that. You know, Bobby and Carol live on our street. And Bobby is well known. I mean, he mows the, the, the yard for the, the people who have struggles, you know, and can't mow their yard. You can see him out mowing for uh, Pete and Winnie. And I think Pam, too, took care of her yard. She has such a bank. And, and he was always giving of his time and his talents. And he did it so nobody knew. 
Nobody knew what he did. And you know, there was a little girl that lived across the street from me, and she had to go to basketball camp. And no way to go, because mom and dad both draw our work. And Bobby volunteered to take her every day to, and pick her up at basketball camp. And that little Riley was thrilled with being able to go and troubled too when Bobby passed away. And you know what that little thing did? She asked her mom if they couldn't honor him some way. And she wanted to light a candle uh, for Bobby and, and put it in a luminaire, a white ba a bag. So you know what grandma did? Grandma went out and bought bags and candles for everybody in the neighborhood. And if you go down East Lawn, you'll see those luminaires lit. And it's really touched the hearts of Carol and Sharon. So no matter how young or little you are, you can always do something to alleviate somebody else's hurt and pain. And what a wonderful example that was. Yeah, we lit those candles one night, and, uh, and last night, the neighbor come around. <coughs> well, enough we would light them again last night because it really comforted Carol the night before. So they burned for two nights instead of one. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else want to cry a tear? <laughs> I want to just say a word for Bobby. Uh, he was my champion. Uh, we was looking for uh, somebody to fill in for being usher. And uh, uh, Bobby was standing by and I said, how about you, Bob? Sure, sure, I'll be here. I said, well, we're glad to have you. So he came right in and even when I would forget the fact that he was going to be a, one of our ushers, he'd stand up and uh, uh, want to be counted. So I, I appreciate Bob very much. I'm going to miss him. Do we have anybody else? Don't want to forget our... I just want to say thank you to all the teachers, the teachers here at church and the teachers who teach in our school systems. I think last week was Teacher Appreciation Week. I absolutely love the fact that you put the time and effort to have our children make Mother's Day gifts. They are my absolute favorite thing to give. Aiden always gets to write something about how he feels about me and it's wonderful to read and I just really appreciate it. And I think it was Nurses Appreciation Week, too, so I want to say thanks to my mom, because it wasn't for her. They probably would have never figured out what was wrong with me. <laughs> She's always taking care of her kids, no matter what. So, and happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> well, I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day, Grandmother's Day, Great Grandmother's Day, and today, because there's a lot of you know, other women out there that play a special role in children's lives. Uh, I got the opportunity to take care of a woman that was a grandmother, great-grandmother. She was in 70 years old, and she was having a rough week. She was very sick, and I just had some moments to share with her, and she told me that uh, she's taking care of her four grandchildren and two of her great-grandchildren.